Now I'm using Windows 11 24 ST on an unsupported PC. This PC is unsupported for Windows 11 24 ST, but I will install Windows 11 24 ST on this unsupported PC. So, without further delay, let's get started. So friends, you can see, my PC does not support Secure Boot, it does not support TPM 2.0 and main port is the processor. The processor is iPi port generation. And as per Microsoft report, Windows 11 does not support any port generation processor of Intel. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 24 SD on any unsupported PC. First of all, you will have to open a browser and search for Windows 11 download. Open the very first link and here you'll have to log in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have any account, you'll have to create one first. Now you'll have to click on Windows Insider Preview. Click on here. Now scroll a little bit. From the drop down, select Release Preview Channel. Click on Confirm. Now you'll have to choose a language. Now you'll have to click on confirm. Just wait a few seconds. Now you'll have to click on 64 list and download will restore it. Now you'll have to search for refuse and open the very first link. Scroll a little bit and here you'll have to click on the latest and download will be stored. After downloading, close your browser. Now open your file explorer. Go to the download folder and here you'll find refuse and windows 11 insider preview file now you'll have to double tap and refuse click on yes now drag and drop windows 11 preview to your refuse close your file explorer now you'll have to insert a minimum 8 gigabytes pen drive to your pc now your pen drive is automatically selected you'll have to click on start now here you'll have to check this option remove ram requirements and tpn 2.0 and remove online microsoft account and you can also check this to create a username click on ok click on ok the process has installed you will have to wait here 15 to 30 minutes to complete the process when it's completed it will show ready click on close now if you want to make dual boot you'll have to create another drive and if you want to install single boot you'll have to the sturdy pc and access the boot menu of a pc to access the boot menu you can refer this photo otherwise you can search on google now on the boot menu you will have to select your pen drive and hit the arrow key now on the screen you'll have to click on next click on next click on i agree and select install windows 11 click on next here you have to click i don't have product key click on here wait a few seconds here you'll have to select your windows click on next now here you'll have to accept terms and conditions click on accept now here on the screen if you want to make dual boot you'll have to select your drive and click on next and if you want clean install on your keyboard press shift obtain now type disk port hit the arrow key and now type list space disk hit the arrow key and here you'll have to identify your ssd or hard drive in my case it is 250 gigabytes ssd so this is disk zero now you'll have to type cell space disk space the number of the disk in my case it's zero and now you'll have to click on the arrow key now type clean and before pressing the enter key, please make sure that every data on your SSD is backed up. Because if you type enter, everything on your SSD will be erased. Click on enter key and it's cleaned. Now close it. Now refresh it. Now you can see 250 GB is free at an allocated space. Click on next. And here, click on install. The installation has been started. You will have to wait here 10 to 15 minutes. Now select your region, click on yes, select your keyboard layout, click on yes, skip it, you'll have to wait here checking for updates, now scroll a little bit, click on accept, again scroll a little bit, click on accept, now you'll have to check for update for display driver, now you can see Windows 11 24 S2 has been installed on my PC and now the driver is set up. If you right click on it, graphics option is here and screen resolution has been completely changed. So let's complete the working. Thanks for watching.